Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. This has been a video that's been requested quite a bit ever since I kind of showed this, the iCamper X cover a couple months back, a few months back now, I guess. I've had it since the end of last year, I think. So I've been using it on every trip since then. I've taken it to, to Moab and done a bunch of trails around Colorado. So I've had some time with it now and now I can kind of give a full review. I have a video where I kind of give initial impressions, but I'll kind of cover those real quick again. So this is the tent. I'll kind of walk around and show some features in a second, but the gist of it, it's a fold out tent, but it doesn't have a traditional kind of vinyl cover that you have to flip off and roll up and do whatever with. It's kind of built in like a skirt. That means it can be a little lighter and it can be a little easier to use. Now this tent is massive. It's like a king size bed in there once it folds out. Uh, but it's only 10 inches high uh, and you don't have to mess with the cover. So that's super nice. And so for me, I have the tent over the bed of my truck. I really like that. I like the diamond back cover. I like the racks on top. I like the low profile. I like that I can, you know, still fit in a normal garage, things like that. So I like to put the tent there. The problem is there's no hard shells right now that fit back there. So hard shells are a little faster and I'm always trying to, to get camp set up and take down just a little bit faster. So I'm just always looking for ways to shave a couple seconds or minutes ideally off of my setup and take down time. So this, this does that and it gives me a gigantic tent. The only problem really on a Tacoma is that as you can see, it does overhang a bit. It wouldn't overhang if you had the long bed, but I have the Tacoma short bed. So if you have a short bed, you can deal with overhang and other than aesthetically, I don't really like it. It's not really, it's not really much, much of an issue, but if you have a long bed, then it won't overhang and it'll probably be about perfect. I think it's about 75 inches in length. So some other unique features of this is that you can get it with roof racks on top. So I think they hold like a hundred pounds. I honestly haven't used them much except strapping down a couple things here and there, but nice if you wanna put something on the roof racks, it will be upside down once it folds. So depending on what's on there, you may need to take it off before you actually utilize the tent, but a nice option if you want to do that. Also you have this hard panel up top that's plenty durable to stand on or sit on or land drones on if you need to. Then underneath we have a track system and this mounting system, which I really, really like. It's super fast. You don't have to get bolts and line up nuts and all this stuff. This just goes into that and you just tighten it up and it basically squeezes onto your rail. So super fast, super secure, and very, very convenient. This is one of my favorite parts about this tent, even though this is really just the mounting mechanism for it but really nice mounting mechanism. And I just think it looks good, looks clean. I like the kind of utilitarian look. You'll see here, this is bulging out. This is my ladder actually. So you can put the ladder inside if you want, or you can put it in the bed of your truck or back of your car, whatever. This is bulging out because I kind of shoved it in and I put a little interior mattress pad in there and the mattress pad is kind of shoving it back out. I didn't notice till just now when I started filming this. So iCamper does have a couple other of the hard shell kind of fold out models and then just a more traditional hard shell that just sleeps two. This will sleep three to four again. It's like a king size bed size roughly in there. So very, very spacious. You can think of basically the footprint of this tent folds out and basically doubles. And then the other cool thing is that it's only like 104 pounds, which for the size of the tent that you get, for the usable sleeping area of the tent, that is crazy, crazy lightweight. So you have a huge tent that's lightweight, not very tall, has racks on top, and the setup and takedown is a little bit quicker than a traditional fold-out tent with the big vinyl cover. So a lot of great things about this tent. So I'm gonna open the tent up and show the inside and kind of show some of the other features when it's open. I'm gonna try and do like a first person. I think you're supposed to do it like this, but I'm gonna be a rebel and do it like this. I'm gonna try and do a first person opening of the tent and I'll kind of overlay it with, I don't know, maybe a time lapse if I keep this filming to kind of show you what's involved, but it's pretty straightforward, but I'll go ahead and get into that now.
point you can either hook the ladder up. Sorry, I had to take this out of my mouth. You can either hook the ladder up and flip it down like a traditional, or I have, I just usually do like this. And then once that's folded down, it's super easy to attach to the ladder. So that's basically open. I think they really want you to kind of adjust it so the steps are up higher, but it doesn't really matter. So you can just leave it like this. See the cover here is kind of folded up. If it's not gonna rain or snow, I'll usually just leave it like that because it provides a little more walking area underneath here. But just for the sake of showing you real quick, you can fold this down on all the corners. So then obviously with it folded down, this stuff kind of comes down and then water and everything will bead off of that a little easier rather than getting caught kind of in this little lip that's made by this cover. And then this flap here has some zippers and some Velcros. That's for if you want to attach like an awning or a room. This thing's kind of modular so you can kind of make an annex room or a big awning. I don't have any of that stuff though so it's just the tent for me. Then the other side has another similar opening. And then this side you can either roll these windows up or you can use a little pull to make them come out. And one really nice thing about the ladder actually is if you can see here, it's kind of hard to tell in a video, but this is angled. So if this was straight, the step would be like this and your foot would be digging into the corner of this step. Now that it's angled, you can kind of see that in relation, that's what straight would be. This is how the step actually is makes it much more comfortable to walk up and down uh, in barefoot or socks or whatever. So the ladder does lock down. You kind of fumble with these until you find the correct locking height and the correct angle out. But then that kind of is what gives support to this part that hangs over. And then inside, so this is the inside. This is that mattress topper I was talking about that I put in here. Uh, we have a skylight, we have windows and ventilation on all four sides. So these are kind of unique windows in that they have a mesh like bug net layer. They have a clear, obviously waterproof layer. And then they have the actual shade layer, which can either be put out with poles like this or rolled up or kept closed if you wanna keep it dark and private. Same on all these other windows as well. This one, the front window doesn't have the clear portion it just has the net and the kind of opaque layer. And then the rain fly obviously over here kind of hanging out. We do have pockets here on each side with a couple compartments, some places to hook things, two poles, that's kind of what maintains the shape of the tent. The skylight does also have those three layers. So right now I just have it open, but I do have the mesh and the clear plastic layer closed. But if you wanted to get out of there, you could. And then the mattress is really these two pieces here. So this is a piece and that's a piece. So this can actually just lift up and move it. It's about 2.5 inches thick. It's an okay mattress. It's not the best, it's not the worst. It's super lightweight and as you can see in here, just gigantic. This is a sleeping bag. A sleeping bag will fit 
this way, even though, like I said earlier, the best way to sleep really, if you're more than like five foot eight probably, is this way. Will give you the most kind of room for pillows and all that kind of lets you stretch out. But anyways, this is it. Um, I did put, this is a little one inch convoluted foam pad that I put in here. So when I sleep this way, I'll usually sleep my head on that side and my feet kind of out here. And then so my upper body is on the pad and my lower body, which doesn't matter as much, is just right on this. I've slept in this most of its life with no pad. I actually just got the pad for my last trip. So it just made it a little bit more comfortable. Um, so that's that. I like this because there's so much room in here. Since I'm kind of a gearhead, I'll bring a lot of stuff up here with me. <laughs> I'll use an electric sleeping bag if it's gonna be in the teens or something. So I'll have my battery pack over here. There's room for to put a Mr. Buddy, all, all your gear, whatever you wanna bring up here, duffel bag, that kind of stuff. So either can sleep three or four, I think like two adults, two kids, or can sleep a couple of adults, a couple of dogs, you know, you name it. Whatever you can fit on a king size bed, basically you can fit in here. Since we do use, use the two poles versus a lot of the folding tents use three poles, we don't have as high of a peak in the center, but it is, I think, comparable, probably average height overall. So it doesn't get quite as high right in the peak, but since these two bars are its main support, you have a nice wider, taller space in the middle. So like I said before, your roof racks will now be underneath as you're walking. They also have these little track systems with these eyelets that you can hook there. They have a bunch of accessories to hold your shoes and things like that. Uh, I don't have any of those accessories, so I can't speak to them. But this is basically how it looks opened up. There is some little areas like this that if you don't fold the cover down, you kind of have this weird, you can, this is right into the tent here. So you can get some drafts in here. So this part folds down to cover that, but it does require this to go down. Usually I won't care. I'll just, you know, shove a, shove a shirt or my duffel in this corner if I really need to block off the uh, draft. But that's just something to note. If you do want to completely seal this up, you do have to fold that part down. And then, yeah, so this does also overhang here a little bit. So it does kind of good and bad. It will protect your cooking and stuff if it has a light rain, kind of like as a mini, super mini awning. But also you could hit your head on here if you're not used to it and you're bending in to try and get something. I do like this when paired with the diamond back because I have this extra shelf. I always use this when I'm out camping, just put stuff up in there, whatever I feel like putting up in there. Yeah, I think that's pretty much, pretty much it. Putting it away, I'll, uh, I'll film it real quick, but just some things to note. You do want to obviously, obviously take the pulls out and you want to stash those. Anything you want to stash to keep in here, you want to put on the far mattress because this will fold and anything that's on this part will kind of fall through the cracks here. So anything that you want to store in the tent, you put on that side. Now, there isn't a ton of space in here to store stuff. I don't think you could store pillows in here unless they're super compressible, like down or just a really small pillow. Uh, I don't think you could put a super thick pad in here and have it closed still. I don't think you could put a super thick blanket or sleeping bag in here. But I do have this small pad and I do have this relatively thin. It's not like a cold weather zero degree bag. It's a pretty thin bag. And those do fit in here as well as the ladder. So you can fit some stuff, but be careful because you don't want to blow out the zipper or something by forcing it too much. There is a strap on the other side that kind of straps down, but just it can't store as much as some tents, but some tents can't store anything. So it's kind of a, a middle ground of how much you can store in here when you close it up. When you're closing it here, you can flip these up ahead of time or you can wait until it's flipped up. It doesn't really matter. It's a little bit tight to get it up over this thing.
So then you go around and just kind of tuck, tuck the remains in. So then it's just kind of a matter of pulled down. So one quick tip is there's this kind of flap here. Sorry, it's kind of kind of dark. But there's this flap here that'll naturally be down. You want to fold this up. This will kind of cover the rest of the little flappy overhangs in there from getting stuck in your zipper as you're zipping it. So if you kind of push this flap up, that'll keep the zipper clear and make it much easier to zip back up. So before you start zipping, there's this clip here. So what I do, and I'm not gonna really be able to film it, is I'll sit on top of this and then clip this. So that way I'm compressing this down as much as I can. So that way it can zip up a little easier. And then really the only somewhat difficult part of this is getting the zipper started, which kind of hard to show on camera, but it's just like getting a zipper on your jacket started where you'll pull that part in. And then it's good to go. Just zip it up around like that. At the end, these little elastic bungees will go under here to kind of keep this flap closed. Sorry, I think I forgot to hit film. I was shoving it in there, but that is the ladder. Shove it back up in there. I actually put it above the mattress this time because it's not wanting to push into my little memory foam topper. So yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them below. So I think if I really rushed the setup, could probably do it in about two to three minutes, like really going fast. Uh, putting it away, probably more like four or five minutes. Putting it away is a little harder uh, for all tents than kind of popping it up. So that's it, it's been great for me so far. Uh, people will ask if it's rated, I live in Colorado, if it's like rated for super cold weather. I don't really know. Uh, typically, I've never viewed tents as really your layer of insulation as much as I do uh, your sleeping bag or your blankets, that kind of stuff. So I've used it in like the teens, I've used it in snow. Granted, I haven't been out in any blizzards or anything like that. So it's held up for me. Uh, I don't usually keep old footage, but if you wanna see it like in action, just check out my channel, like the Weekender Lander series uh, and the last handful I've been using this tent. So you can kind of see it in real world use uh, as I'm actually out using it, making other videos that this just happens to be in. Uh, anyway, yeah, I think that's about it. So if you like this video, if you found it informative, helpful, any of those things, take two seconds, hit that thumbs up button. I always link to stuff down in the video description below. So check those out, obviously, for the tent and for anything else. Uh, I do a lot of videos on my truck, gear, mods, that kind of stuff. So check out my channel for that. Get subscribed if you like that kind of stuff, leave a comment down below. Again, if you have any questions, comments, feedback, whatever, love to read those comments. Actually, quick announcement. I'm not sure when I'm gonna release this video. So either these patches will be live on my site or they will be live on my site soon. Sorry, some crazy crows flying around. I'll link to them though. But this is the V2 Tacoma patch. I made a patch of my Tacoma earlier that uh, was a limited run and it sold out pretty quick and since then I've had hundreds of emails asking if they could get that patch. They can't, it was sold out. This is another limited run so this patch again, get it while it's available because it'll never come back. And then I do have this patch, my logo topo style. Uh, this is a limited run as well though I may bring it back, I don't know, maybe I'll bring it back in different colors or something. But this is a patch and I have several other patches. They're all available on my site. So yeah, that's that wraps it up. That's the only announcement I'm gonna do. So until next time guys, take care.